Hello, hello guys. In today's video, I am going to teach you how to use Profossify to create a professional proposal for studying to other companies. Let's get started. First, head over to Profossify website. The sign up process is very easy, very straightforward. It's a demo, so you can get a guide by clicking on sign up for free. In just a few seconds, you will see how easy it gets started with Profossify. You will need to put in, to put some information, your first name, last name, company name. If you don't have a company name, just create one, your email address, then create a strong password, as well as your phone number. After that, click on create my account. After you sign up, it will ask you for additional information to help customize your account and learn more about your users. Um, for example, what best describes your role, you can choose option like sales manager, how many employees at your company, you can select options like 1 to 10, and it will ask you which country or what country do you live in. So mine is Philippines, I'm going to put it in there. Once you've completed that, you will be welcome to the dashboard, and here are some steps you need to follow to get started. You can watch the introduction video if you like. In here, you can check your profile information, and also you can update your branding or your logo, add your teammates, add your clients, build your proposal template. Lastly, you can set your proposal. And on the right side corner, you will find various options to help you navigate easily, such as the content library, templates, the metrics, users, clients, integration, you can also modify settings in the settings section. Over here, you can upload an image of your logo. If you already have one, you can just simply drag and drop the file into this area. Just wait for a few seconds and there you have it. Also, there are some few information you need to input. Once done, you can click Save. Let's go ahead and add teammates. Wait for a moment. Over here, you will see a preview of your invitation letter, which serves you as a sample invitation. Now, you can invite a new user by entering their first name, their last name and their email address. Once done, you can click invite users and the person will receive an invitation to join your account. Next, we will build our first template, which we will use an example to set up a document before sending a proposal. When building your first template on Profossify, start by using the starter template provided. Since um, we already have uploaded a logo, we can use this to reflect your company's identity brand. Okay, so first, let's start with a cover page. This is where you will add your company logo and the proposal title. Next is the introduction. Here you will provide a brief overview of the proposal to set the stage for your client. Then move on to the overview section. This is where you will summarize the key services you were offering. In the service section, you will go into more details about what you provide, clearly outlining to your offerings. Following what you invest um, here, you will specify the price and payment terms for your services and in the agreement section, include all the terms and conditions related to the proposal. For the template tips and tricks, um, this is so helpful. Um, this is a note that will, um, that will guide you through customize your proposal effectively. Then we have the optional services section. This is where you can list any extra services that your client may want to consider. On the left side section, this is where you can edit your proposal. You can add branding elements such as text, image, videos, shapes, lines, tables, pricing tables, and lastly, the signature. 
then once you're familiar with creating a proposal, we can go ahead and generate our first starter template. Now we have successfully created the proposal. With that done, let's continue by selecting the company we want to send the proposal to, select the contact we can add, over here, we can change the assignee. And after finalizing, we can go ahead and click next step. And this is the email looks like. After finalizing your proposal, go to the client section and select the company and the contact you want to send to. And you can add their details if they aren't listed yet. You can also review the proposal to ensure everything is correct. In the email composer, you can personalize your message addressing the recipient by name and including a subject line. If you want, you can also use the share documents option to include additional files or documents. To add a new client in Proposify, start by navigating the client stuff from your dashboard. Once you're there, you can click Add New Client button. A form will pop up where you can enter the client details such as the company name, the contact person first and the last name, as well as their email address. You can also add extra details like phone numbers and addresses if needed. Once you have filled in necessary information, then click Save. The client now will be added to your database and you can easily assign proposal to them in the future. Here we can update your profile. So in the profile section, you will see fields where you can edit details like your name, your email address, and the company information. You can also upload or change your profile picture here. Once you have made the necessary updates, click Save to apply the changes. Your profile will now be updated with the new information. And we have our content library. This is where we can find template stuff like that. And as you can see here in the template section, you will find a collection of pre-designed templates. Also, you can track the performance of your proposal and client interaction. In user section, you can manage the members who can have access to your account. And also in the client section, you can manage all your client information in one place. In integration section, you can connect your account with other tools. Here you will find a list of available integrations such as Salesforce and HubStuff. In account settings, you can view and manage several important aspects of your account such as domains, billings, email templates, currency, client preview, available fonts, roles, workspace, and custom fields some plans you can avail to your business needs very affordable and budget friendly and that's it for today's video don't forget to like share and subscribe